This presentation is given by Rahul, Abhishek, Sushil and Sanket of Vidalanka Institute of Technology under the able guidance of Prof. Saurabh Mehta. The topic for our presentation is IEEE standards. Speaking about IEEE, let us go deep into the roots of IEEE, IEEE Foundation. Talking about IEEE history, the very first organization founded was AIEE in 1884. AIEE stands for American Institute of Electrical Engineers. Radio, a new electrical technology, arose in the first decade of 20th century. It proved to be a major catalyst for birth of IEEE. IEEE, which stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, was born in Jan 1, 1963. Now let us go deep into IEEE 802. IEEE 802 introduction. IEEE 802 belongs to IEEE family. It deals especially in land and man. It has been specifically restricted to networks carrying variable size packets where the probability of conflict is more. IEEE has the number 802 in the standards. The mystery behind the number 802 is it is no rocket science. Since IEEE everything has been given a unique code, so IEEE ran out of numbers. The chart here shows wireless internet working overview. A communication device is classified into residential, fixed and mobile. Under residential, we have WLAN and the Bluetooth technology. Under fix, for using broadband multi-services, we have MMDS and LMDS. For the mobiles, there was 2G and 3G services and with the invent of 4G in the near future. In 2G, circuit data services uses GPRS while in 3G, the packet data services uses UMTS. Now, how and where does IEEE standards play a role in standardization of wireless networks? It is standardized and formulated by 802 LAN and WAN committee. As seen from the figure, standards are defined only for the first two layers of the OSI model, that is the physical and the data link layer. For simplicity, they have been further classified into LLC, that is the logical link control, MAC, that is the medium access control, and the physical layer. The figure in the front of you gives a detailed description of where and why the standards are required. All 802 standards provide common upper interface to LLC, a MAC protocol may be specified for use with different physical media. For example, 802.3 supports thick coaxial cable, thin coaxial cable and the twisted pair etc. The thing which most concerns an EXTC engineer is the wireless world. So let us peep and get some answers to those questions. To start with, what is happening in the wireless internet working world and how does IEEE 802 standards being specific contribute to it? We will discuss standards which comes under 802. IEEE standards are classified into two groups, active working group and inactive working group. Under active working group, following, stand following 11 standards are defined. Under inactive working group, following 9 standards are defined. Among these, we are going to deal with only wireless IEEE standards. These wireless standards are as follows. Wireless LAN technology is standardized within the IEEE 802.11 working group. Other than IEEE 802 working group, 802.15 wireless personal area network which deals with Bluetooth and Zigbee, 802.16 broadband wireless access which is commonly known as WiMAX. WiMAX was designed for long range network, 802.20 mobile wireless access, 802.22 wireless regional area networks. Let us discuss 802.11. In 1997, IEEE created first WLAN standard. 802.11 supports a maximum battery rate of 2 Mbps, which is too slow for many applications. In 1999, July, IEEE created 802.11b, which supports a maximum battery rate of 11 Mbps, which is comparable with traditional Ethernet. 802.11b uses the same frequency 2.4 GHz as original 802. 0.11 standards, but this frequency is also used for other low cost applications, hence interference issue was prominent. While 802.11b was, was in development, IEEE created extension to original 802.11, which is much faster than 802.11b 802 uh, and commonly known as 802.11a. 802.11a supports bandwidth of 54 Mbps and has frequency spectrum around 5 gigahertz. Due to higher cost, 802.11a is used only in business network, whereas 802.11b was a better serve the home network. 802.11a and 802.11b 
user uh, were incompatible with each other hence uh, 802.11g emerged in year 2003 it combines the best of both 802.11a and b which supports bandwidth up to 54 mbps and uses 2.4 gigahertz frequency which is uh, backward uh, thus backward compatibility issue was resolved now coming to the newest ieee standard in the wifi category is 802.11n which was designed to improve on 802.11g in the amount of bandwidth supported by utilizing multiple wireless signals and antennas instead of one when this standard is finalized 802.11n connection should support data rates over 100 mbps we can see from table range for indoor and outdoor application increases from 802.11a to 802.11n 802.11 architecture is of two type infrastructure based and ad hoc based infrastructure in infrastructure based network transition of data is from wire to wireless using access point whereas in ad hoc no access point is used and it is between wireless to wireless only advantages of 802.11 it is flexible as it supports small as well as large network it reduces bottlenecks bottlenecks is jamming due to multiple arrival of packets and data which is reduced in 802.11 it is more robust against disasters disadvantages of 802.11 low bandwidth as compared to other existing uh, copper wires and optical fiber also it need to it needs to follow wireless spectrum regulations now we will discuss the 802.15 working group of ieee known as wpan that is wireless personal area network it is broadly divided into four task groups as shown the first task group is 802.15.1 which is based on bluetooth technology it defines physical layer and max specification for wireless connectivity with fixed or moving devices task group 2 802.15.2 addresses the coexistence of wpan with other wireless devices operating in unlicensed frequency bands third task group 802.15.3 is defined for high rate point 3a was an attempt to provide higher speed for applications which involve imaging and multimedia point 3b was released to improve implementation and interoperability of the mac fourth task group 802.15.4 is defined for low rate point 4a provides higher precision ranging location capability and throughput Point 4B was developed to resolve ambiguities, increasing flexibility and security. As said earlier, 802.15.1 is based on Bluetooth. 802.15.2 deals with coexistence of bands and WLANs. 802.15.3 can provide around 20 Mbps of data rate, providing low power and low cost solutions for multimedia applications. ZigBee provides short range, low power and low data rate of 250 kbps. Talking about 802.16 standards, it can be defined as a series of wireless broadband standards. It standardizes the air interface and provides a communication path between a subscriber and a core network. It was founded in April 2001. WiMAX was created by WiMAX Forum and promotes use of broadband wireless access over wide geographical areas to serve many users. Following are the task groups defined. 802.16f defines a management information base (MIB) for the MAC and physical layer and associated management procedures. 802.16g defines management procedures as enhancements of 802.16 air interface standard for fixed and mobile broadband wireless systems 802.16h specifies improved mechanisms to enable coexistence among license exempt systems and to facilitate the coexistence of such systems with primary user 802.16i is an amendment for local and metropolitan area networks 802.16j amendment specifies OFDMA physical layer and MAC layer enhancements to IEEE 802.16 
to enable operation of a relay station. 802.16k was developed to support the bridging of the IEEE 802.16 median access control. 802.16m aims at providing high data rate as much as 100 Mbps for mobile application and 1 Gbps for fixed ones. Let us now consider the applications of Vimax. Using Vimax internet technology brings reliability to customers as no apparent medium is required. Vimax is suited to medium and small size business especially in low density area. By providing point to multi point backhaul solutions, PSTN can be bypassed thus acting as a cost effective alternative. Wi-Fi hotspots can also allow users to access internet remotely by roaming outside office and homes. 802.20 802.20 defines IEEE standard for mobile broadband wireless access. It was licensed to operate at frequency bands below 3.5 GHz. It aimed to provide a low cost always on internet access so that the users will not have to spend time connecting to the network thus providing a truly mobile on the go broadband access. In order to make it truly mobile, it supported handoff even to vehicles moving at a speed as high as 250 km per hour and still maintain a data rate of 1 Mbps. In June 2006, it was suspended due to allegations made by other working group including Intel and Motorola that the chairperson Jerry Opton was favoring Qualcomm. The group became active again in November 2006 and in 2008 published the standard. But later in 2011, the standard was put on hibernation due to lack of activity. 802.22 defines IEEE standard for wireless regional area network that is for a large and usually a remote area where internet penetration is not present. As we know, frequency spectrum is a scarce resource and hence WRAN utilizes white spaces in TV frequency spectrum. White spaces are those frequ- free frequency bands available due to absence of a particular TV channel in that geographical region. The white spaces can, can be time dependent, hence it uses dynamic frequency allocation and transmission power control. In order to facilitate the dynamic frequency allocation, it uses cognitive radio technique which automatically detects free frequency channel in the vicinity. Using a TV, single TV channel of 6 MHz, a maximum data rate of 19 Mbps at 30 km can be achieved. Multiple channels can be clubbed using channel bonding to achieve higher data rates. The diagram shows TV transmitter and WRAN base station operating in the same geographical region. WRAN is using the same frequency band which the TV transmitter was or will be transmitting. WRAN can typically cover a radius of 33 km and can be extended to 100 km using repeaters. Summarizing the topic, IEEE802 covers the data networks of variable packet size. Different wireless standards aim at providing different data rates and different coverage areas. We have WPAN with coverage of 10 meters while WRAN of coverage as high as 100 kilometers.